what saving is, but what was the other word he said? Invo what? He said invest. What does that mean? I don't know either, but let's find out. Who should we ask? Well, the library is over there. Maybe we can use the dictionary. Here it is, invest. To put money in different places with the expectation of making more money than you put in. To put money in different places with the expectation of making more, of making money, more than money than you put, than put in. in. Wait, so your money can multiply without working every day for it? I think that's what it means. But how long will it take for it to multiply so that we can get the millions? I don't know. The man at the bank said we need 2,000 shillings to save or invest. For 2,000 to even become 1 million seems like a long time. Well, what if it multiplies fast like Gadere's mushrooms? What if it multiplies by 1,000 in one day? That will already make it 2 million. So how do we know? Should we go back to the bank? I don't know. I didn't like how that man made us feel. Well, Kibena, how else would we know? We should just be humble and go back. <sighs> okay. The bank is closed now. They close early on weekends. Oh, thank you. Do they open tomorrow? No, not until Monday morning. I don't know if I can go for the rest of the weekend without knowing, guys. Knowing what? Come on, you can tell me. You never know. Hello, I'm Miss Gala. Hi, Miss Gala. We want to put our money here at the bank. We already know that we need 2,000 shillings to save or invest. But how long will it take for it to be 1 million? I see. Well, good thing you asked me because I actually know. You, you, you do? do? I do. It all depends on the interest rate. Into what? We're learning so many new terms today. <laughs> that is great. Interest rate. It is the number that is used to calculate how much the money you put in the bank multiplies by, usually in the form of a percentage. Okay, so what interest rate do we need for our 2,000 shillings to be 1 million? Well, I can tell you for sure that this bank here has a standard interest rate of 20% for any amount that you save for one month because I also put my money here. You have? That's amazing. What made you want to do that? I wanted to start off the business, but I didn't have enough money to start the business. So, I decided to put the little that I had in this bank while I continued to earn elsewhere. Putting it in the bank helped me disciplined to not use it for other things, so it helped the money increase over time. Now I have this shoe store from the profit that I made, and I'm able to send my children to school with what I earn here while I still have some balance still growing in the bank. I will use that profit later for when my children have to go to university, because it is not cheap. Tell me about it! That's what we're trying to do too! Afford our university education by investing today! If I remember correctly, by profit, you mean the additional money you make from your original money? That's very right! You must have a good memory! That's really impressive, Miss Gala. Women and girls can truly do so much with money. So how much profit do we get with the 20% interest rate? Let's calculate that. When I was in school, a very long time ago, my teacher taught me this formula. Here, let me write it down on the ground. To calculate for profit, you must multiply your principal, which is the amount of money you're putting in the bank, by the interest rate. Then, by the time you're investing your money for, time can be the number of days, weeks, months, or years. Once you multiply all three, you divide it by the 100 and the answer is the profit you will make. I think I get it. Let's use our situation as an example. Okay, we have 2,000 as our principal and the interest rate is 20% for each month. So our profit after one month of investment will be... So that is 2,000 times 20 times 1 then divided by 100. 2,000 times 20 is 40,000. 40,000 times 1 is... 40,000. 
That was fast, Amani. Great job. So now divide 40,000 by 100 and the answer is... 400 shillings. So that means we'll get 400 shillings more each month. That's not bad at all. It is not, but I don't think it is enough to make the amount of money we need, especially if it is for the three of us. Yeah, you're right. We only have seven years to invest until we go to university. And my quick math tells me we won't even make 50,000 Kokotoa shillings as profit by then. So I guess we can never make the amount of money we need just by putting it in the bank. Not by the time we graduate and need the money anyway. Wait! What? what? The three of us have 1,250 shillings altogether. What if we ask the rest of the Utu Club to save or invest with us? It might bring us to 2,000 shillings or even more. If we have more, then we can look into the other places we can put our money in. Okay, let's tell them all about investing later at our meeting today and see if they will agree. Never miss out on new Ubaldo Kids videos ever again. Subscribe today and become the first to know every time new fun educational content is available.